When Crystal met Timothy over six years ago, she thought she had met the love of her life. They moved in together and had a baby boy. But now, even though she is seven months pregnant with his twins, she wants out. I've actually found different text messages from different girls. One girl even said, I had fun with you last night. Come on now. I see a condom sitting in my trash can. The story behind it is my baby got a hold of it, opened it so, it so the baby doesn't choke. He threw it in the trash. That's a condom that got left and used on her by me. Do we look like we use condoms? Can Crystal and Timothy work out their relationship for the sake of their son and unborn twins? Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We have here before me Crystal Coakley and Timothy Watts. The two of you have been in a relationship for six years, living together for four years. You already have one child together, and Ms. Coakley, you are seven months pregnant uh, yet again. Mr. Watts, you're not altogether sure that uh, the one child you do have together is yours, so you asked us to uh, conduct a paternity test which we did, and we will have the results of that paternity test later on. Before we go to that, however, I'm going to start with you, Ms. Coakley. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and why you want to end it now, even though you're carrying his baby? Well, Your Honor, um, to be honest with you, I'm tired of being with somebody who actually does not help me financially. In the beginning, our relationship was really good. Timothy was a gentleman. Uh, he helped pay for things. He was working. Somewhere down the line, a few years later, I had my son. Mm -hmm. A few months after having my son, I got a job. He quit his job. Out of nowhere, just stopped working. It's been almost two years now, and I asked him to get a job. I've asked him to help us out financially in some kind of way. I don't care if it's flipping burgers. It's always an excuse. Blank applications, hanging out with friends. If he can hang out with his friends, he can fill out a job application in my mm -hmm. eyes. Never wants to get a job. It's just excuses. It's one excuse after the other. Mr. Okay. Watts, your response? Okay, Your Honor. First off, uh, I did have a job. Right. She give me calls at work. I'm at work. She's calling me. Hey, texting me. Why aren't you answering my calls while well, I'm dealing with customers? I get home. She's giving me a bad time. She's, she, she's not cooking anything for me. When I come home, I leave. Before I leave to work, she's putting me in an awful mood, which actually affected my performance at work. I was unable to meet my uh, requirements in sales, and I lost my job on her behalf. You know what, Mr. Watts? Part of being grown is handling your business even when everything isn't yep. right. That's, that's just part of being grown. I agree. And uh, <laughs> you can turn off your phone, uh, you can have an argument, but you shall still show up a man and do your job. So you can't blame that on her. Having said that, I'll ask you this. Why no new job within the last two okay, years? Okay, actually, I have been looking for jobs. She, she, she stresses me out right now. She's being, uh... She's vindictive? Vindictive, and she's lying right now. She's, she's constantly accusing me. She's very insecure. When I'm out looking for jobs, she's accusing me of being out cheating on her. Mm -hmm. She thinks that I'm always cheating on her. Uh, there was an inc incident where mm -hmm. I, was at, I was actually at the studio working on some music. She calls. I, I don't answer the phone because I'm at the studio. She calls again. I pick up the phone and say, hey, I tell her I'm on the way. She tells me, you're not on the way. You're on Terra, Terra Boulevard and 15th Street. Now Your I'm Honor, bewildered. I, I'm like, how do you even know where I'm at? Your Later Honor, on, I, I, I find out she's finish. put an application on my phone that she's able to see my whereabouts. And, you know, I that, that, that's creepy. <laughs> Can I stop in there? Did, uh, did you put a tracker on uh, the man's Honor, phone? I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. One, that's a lie. He that, requested us to have this, this tracker on our phone. Yeah, I have accused him not, of cheating. That's not However, true, the tracking device is because of his insecurities as well. Now, I've accused him of cheating on several different times because I've actually found things in his phone for me to feel that way. Different text messages from different girls, different phone numbers coming up in his phone. Sometimes he doesn't answer the phone. I see, a, I see that, oh, later on he'll text that number, but he'll tell me at the time it's ringing, oh, I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is, but you texting him later, hey, how you doing tonight? Are you able to come out? On top of that, I've seen pictures of girls blowing him kisses. One girl even said, I had fun with you last night. I used to work overnight. When I had, was, him and my son would be at home. I come home in the morning, I'm trying to make me breakfast. Prime example, phone sitting on the counter. 
keeps going off constantly. I'm wondering, okay, women, he's asleep. Why is the phone constantly going off? Let me see who this is. I look inside, it's a girl. A girl texting him saying, have fun with you last night, showing pictures of her making different faces and poses and so on and so forth, which tells me while I'm at work, you're here with another girl in my house. Okay, Mr. Watch, you want to respond to that? Your Honor, there, there was a text that came in. That text was from the wrong number. Uh, I don't, I didn't know that person. I do, I, I honestly, I do have pictures of females in my phone that I have downloaded off the internet only because our sex life is horrible. She yeah. does, we, yeah. we may do something probably like once or twice a month. She reject me. It's mm -hmm. like, like I'm a germ or something, you know? She, she are, Honor, are, you, kind of, are, are you less than affectionate? No. It's kind of yes, hard to get yes, yourself is, your always Honor. in the mood, especially when I've had times that I've come home from work, long day at work. I, like I said, I'm the only one working. Come home from a long day at work, and I got to find one of our neighbors in my apartment with him, supposed to be there braiding his hair. He comes out the back room, his hair is still in an afro. There's no braids in his hair. When mm -hmm. I ask him, okay, how long has she been here? Oh, she just got here a few minutes ago. But the neighbors in my neighborhood are telling me, no, she's been there for, for a few hours. When Divorce Court continues, has Timothy taken his insults too far? I didn't get myself knocked up, but I'm called fat all the time. I'm fat, I'm ugly, and I get text messages. Being with you was a duck move. Thanks for helping me realize how much I have played myself. Believe that. And you said that to your pregnant woman. Everyone warned you about marrying your mate. If divorce is the only solution, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Crystal Coakley, who wants to separate from her son's father after six years together because she says he doesn't help out financially. But is he a cheater, too? Mr. Watts, are you cheating on her? Of course not. Uh, He'd have to go on now. No, Your I, Honor, I, I go I, and throw some away in the trash can, and I see a condom sitting in my trash can. The story behind it is my baby got a hold of it, opened it so, so the baby doesn't choke. He threw it in the trash. That's a lame excuse. You mean Mr. to tell Watts, me she's got a lot of very specific stories that are very damning in, in, in the cheating department. Can you, can you explain that? The woman that braided the hair, all of that? Did yeah. that not happen? I, I have no idea what she's talking about. I do get my hair braided <laughs> quite often. She knows everybody that braids my hair. She, their, their number is in, in, the, in her phone as well as mine. Now. Know. Okay. okay. As, as far <laughs> as her seeing a condom or something, that's a condom that got left and used on her by do me. Do we look like we use condoms? <laughs> and you've been with somebody Ms. Six years. Speaking of being pregnant, you said that he um, calls your names and belittles yeah. you because you're pregnant. You Tell know, me I mean, about before that. Before I had my son, I had a nice little shape. Right. After having my son, I worked like crazy to lose that weight. Finally got back in shape again. I get knocked up again. I didn't get myself knocked up, but I'm called fat all the time. I'm fat, I'm ugly, I get talked about all the time. I don't turn him on, I don't satisfy him. I got, I have even, I've even gone so far as being hurt. I'm at work, I call him complaining about it. Hey, you know, all his finances are weighing me down. I feel like the weight of the world's on my shoulder. This is my mate, I'm feeling I could talk to my mate. I get hung up on and I get text messages. I have I have the text messages. Let me see them. Mr. Okay. Watch while she's giving me that. You you respond to, to her her accusations. Your Honor, she's uh very over dramatic. Uh I am guilty of using that language with her, as well as she's guilty of using language with me, Your Honor. She's very over dramatic. There was a time where I was sick and I asked her. I Being said, with you was a duck move. Thanks for helping me realize how much I have played myself. Believe that. And you said that to your pregnant woman. It, but, I your Honor, to work listen. For hours. She 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 plays the victim role very well. I was in the hospital and I was sick, Your Honor. And she was texting somebody in her phone. I said, "Who are you texting?" None of your business. Don't worry about that. I said, "Oh, you you texting your boyfriend?" She gets upset, leaves the hospital. I leave outside behind her and she hops in the car. I'm standing in front of the car, 
instead of her stopping because the hospital was like 10 minutes, I mean, mm -hmm. 10 miles from our house. I was, I, she just left me there. And she yeah. drove, instead of her stopping, she continues, even though I'm in front of the car, 30 miles an hour, Your Honor, punching the gas. I had to jump out the way at the last minute. Mm -hmm. So she, she says I talked to her, but she does things that cause me to speak to her in that manner. In that manner. She, she, it's she, her fault. She pushes no. my butt. Okay, she put your butt. I got you. When Divorce Court continues, is Timothy really the biological father of Crystal's son? You got anything better than that why you don't think this baby is yours? Listen, Your Honor. This is to Mr. Watts. I want you to take a look at it and we'll discuss the, it from there. What's up? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Crystal Coakley, who is ready to end her six year relationship with her son's father because she says he's a cheater. But is Timothy really the father of Crystal's son? Mr. Watts, why don't you believe that child you already have is yours? Because I can't trust her. Reason I can't trust her, for one, um, one of my friends fly down, flies down to Miami. It's me, my male friend, her, and her female friend. Uh -huh. He flies down to Miami, and we all go to the beach. While we're at the beach, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, she's removing her top and showing her breasts. I'm, I'm, I'm bewildered, I'm like, okay, if, if you wanted to do that and it was just me, you, and your girlfriend, you, okay, you guys are girls, or whatever. But my male friend there, that is not cool. Yana, whatsoever. We've had now, is, is, I did not know she was gonna do that, Your That Honor. is not cool. Your no Honor, doubt about it. Did you do it? We've had so many arguments about that scenario. The actual scenario he's talking about, before his friend came down, it was me and my female friend went to the new beach. He That's... went with us. He roamed off, went to the water. Yeah, we laid out there, had our tops off. It's just me and her next to each other. When his friend came down the following weekend, there were two other girls on the beach who had no top on. I said, I don't feel comfortable. I'm the only girl by myself with no top down. I'm not going to take my top down. Go sit by them. So one, he takes a picture, got on his Facebook, a picture his friend takes showing the girl's breast sitting up without a cover on it. He said he wanted to take a picture and get a shot of her in was the it, Was it a topless beach? Yeah, it's a nude beach. Was it, was it a it's nude beach? It's not required that you go topless, so. I, get, I get there. And I definitely beach, don't so. require yeah. her to go topless, but, but especially she was not with, in front of my But she friends. was with you, yeah. it was a topless nude beach, and that, that, that's not an indication of cheating. If you guys didn't want all that, you should have discussed it. Oh. Hey, this is a new beach. And I'm not comfortable Honor, with you I going with the natives. Yeah. That's all. Him. Okay. That's she, all. She, hang on, hang on, hang on. Any, you got anything better than that? Why you don't think this you, baby is yours? Listen, listen Your Honor. <laughs> I, I don't trust her. I got a, uh, she left the house one day. She leaves her Facebook open on the computer. So I get curious. I check her inbox. I see she writes one of her ex-boyfriends. Mind you, we've been in a relationship for six years. Why are you contacting your ex-boyfriend saying, oh, I miss you, I love you? Why are you even still feeling, feeling feelings for someone after six years? Did you do that? Of being no, in a relationship. That was an old message from years before when we first started dating, our first year. She's contacted her ex-boyfriend I know on without a doubt occasions. that my son is According his son. According to her Facebook. Give this to Mr. Watts. I want you to take a look at it and we'll discuss the, it from there. I say something What's up? Okay. So, <laughs> so, 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 the baby, the baby, my child is my child. Right. At, and, and also, you know. No, no, hey! That, you know what? You, my she, child is my child is not an and also moment. It's a, I'm, I, it, it's I'm happy, it's I'm sorry. That's what it is. Oh. It's I'm happy, it's I'm sorry. Go there. I apologize. Oh, go there, okay. I apologize. Okay. When Divorce Court continues, will Timothy have to pay up for putting on the brakes? He got mad. He winds up slamming on the brake and slamming my car in the park at the same time. When he did it, got back in the car, tried to start the car after he done walked off, and my car wouldn't move anymore. I paid for an ornament that's sitting in front of my house.
Divorce Court returns with the case of Crystal Coakley and Timothy Watts, who are separating after six years together, even though they have a son together and are pregnant with twins. Do you want $1,400, Ms. Coakley. Why is that? Well, you, well, when you ask, can I go back to something? You ask. No, no, okay. no, no, no. The $1,400 no. is because he, we're driving in the car. I do a lot of yapping. I was asking him a question about something that was dealing with one of my bills. He got really upset because I was asking, telling him he lost my receipts. He got mad. He winds up slamming on the brake and slamming my car in the park at the same time. When he did it, got back in the car, tried to start the car after he done walked off, and my car wouldn't move anymore. So I'm paying, I pay $400 a month, plus my insurance for an ornament that's sitting in front of my house. I paid a total of $1,000 for the past two months for a nice Cadillac that's just sitting in front of my house. I can't even get it up and running. To me, it's his fault because he was driving the car and that's what caused it to go out. Your response? It's not my fault, Your Honor. She's, she's talking in my ear multiple uh, words of disrespect that I can't even utter in front of you. Uh, and I had enough, I slammed the car in part, and I got out the car. It was only because it was everything I could do to refrain myself from getting physical with her with the constant bel belittling. Rather than to take that route, I said, you know what, I'm getting out. Okay, I got it, I got it. There is a poem by T.S. Eliot that ends this is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. The title of that one is called The Hollow Men. You're a little bit hollow, Mr. Watts. You can't stand on your own. You are in a constant state of whimpering. She pushes my buttons. She causes me to call her names. She made me lose my job. I can't keep a job because she calls me. All of, all of your failures are because of her, this lesser person, this person that you don't trust, this person that you don't like, because you don't have the strength within yourself just to be a man and say, I failed and I'll try again. Mm -hmm. I couldn't handle it, I'll do something else. Instead of taking responsibility, you just blow over and say, she was the wind and it was all her fault. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Oakley, I believe you're frustrated and I believe that you express yeah. that frustration frequently and with, and with a bit of persistence. Uh, part of being that kind of hollow makes you afraid and you blame other people because you're afraid to look at yourself for who you are. I think you're a decent guy, Mr. Watts, but I think you have to look inside and find some strength and some bravery and find some decency and find a reason to find yourself responsible for what happens to you and your children and not look for excuses to point at other people. I do think you've probably cheated on her and to the extent that you're not bringing home any money and you're chipping away at the only person that is, you are destroying the security that you owe your children. And I ask you again, please do not do that. It is not her fault that you messed up the car. It was your fault. It was your reaction. It was your doing. Consequently, it is her $1,400. It is so worth it. Thank you. All right. Parties, we leave the courtroom. Play that victim real good. Hey, can't help when you actually are the victim. It's kind of hard to play something that you really are. Uh, no. That's... When we get back, you just either you move out or I move out, whichever one, but I can't do this one. Okay. However you want it. You, I mean, like I said, it's you know, you play the victim real well, and don't, you don't get, I'm don't. Playing. You keep saying I'm playing. This is not playing. Don't cry. <laughs> that's, don't, that's cry. Not don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I love you. I love you. I love you, I love you Chris. I love you. Don't cry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I try to be better. I'm sorry. I try to be better. Kids. Yeah. Shit. <laughs>